Hey everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. It's Five Ways Wednesday and it's been a long time since I've done one of these. I'm sorry about that. Um, today I'm going to be showing you five ways to pack up activity kits for your kids. I've spent a lot of time thinking about this one because as the mom of a five-year-old and a three-year-old, it kind of uh, seems like what we're carrying the most these days are toys and things to keep my kids active and busy while we're out. So if you have kids who are reaching that age where you're grabbing for less diapers and changes of clothes, but instead you're reaching for more of toys and activity kits, you may be looking for new creative ways to pack that stuff up for on the go. So that's what we're going to be doing today. The first thing that I'm going to be showing you is actually exact footage from my Monday packing video that was uploaded two days ago. I'm putting it here for those of you who may have missed that video or who only like the Five Ways Wednesday content so that you can see that right here and not have to revert back to that other video. Uh, however, if you've already seen that one and you know how the Tegu carrying kit is uh, packed up as an activity kit, you can skip to this timestamp right here and skip that all together in this video. As always, everything that I'm going to show you in this video is either going to be available at my store, thesensiblemama.com, or on Amazon or Target. I will leave all of that linked in the description box below for easy access for you. If you shop at thesensiblemama.com, we ship same day if you shop before 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and next day if you shop anytime after that. We love getting this stuff out fast to you, so if you see anything that catches your eye, you can shop down in the description box. So with that said, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so this is the Tegu carrying case. I've got this all packed up with a few of my kids' favorite activities. I'm gonna show you what all is in here today. All right, so as you can see, we've got a lot of really cool stuff packed up in here. I like making sure that my kids have lots of options while we're on the go because they're three and five. They get bored easily with stuff. So one of the first things that you'll see in here is I do have a bunch of their Tegu blocks. So this is 23 pieces. One pack of Tegu comes with a set of 14. So I've got almost two full sets in here. I could have put more in if I wanted, but I wanted to utilize this space up here for some other things. So my kids do have plenty of blocks to play with if they wanna pull these out and start building things. It's good to go. Uh, we took them to a restaurant this weekend and they spent most of their time waiting for the food to come just playing with their Tegu. This is my favorite thing about these magnetic blocks for cleanup. It just, boop, <laughs> pick them all up at once. It's great. Next, I have a kitted kit. This one is the rainbow on the go kit. I'm going to open up a different one that's already open uh, rather than opening this one and making it unsellable. But this one, so this one is for slightly older kids because this involves writing tools. This comes with black scratch off paper and solid white paper. You get a scratch off pen that comes in here, which allows you to scratch the black paint off of this and reveal a rainbow underneath. And then it comes with uh, one of those pens that have like six different colors inside so that they can color on the white paper. So if you have little ones who like to be artistic, this is a great one to bring with you. If your little ones are on the younger side, they might really like this kit. This one is the Magical Meadow Unicorn Kit and it is Abby's absolute favorite. It comes with a little pack of six colors of neon clay plus two little unicorn figurines like this and a little foldable play mat for them to lay down and play with the clay. Next in here, I have a little four piece puzzle block set. This one is really cool. Um, it's by Begin Again and it's got four blocks inside and each block side has got a different animal on it. So they can work to make uh, bunches of different animals here and they can use this little box that it comes in to sit and play. So they can work on getting their little character all put together finding all the sides of the same animal, and then starting to move it around to actually solve the puzzle, which is really cool. Lastly is one of the things that I'm most excited about. Um, this right here sold out the first day that we got it, but we did get it back in stock today. I'm just praying that it's not sold out by the time this video goes live today. Uh, if it is, we'll be getting more. But this is a little activity kit from Jack Jack Bird that we just got in stock last week. Again, it sold out right away. Um, but I've added something to it, which I think is really cool. Check this out. These are the Uli chalk crayons. These are so hyper pigmented, you guys. My kids are absolutely obsessed with these because they color so nicely. And the best part is that these are completely wipeable, which means they will come right off of any chalkboard surface. Um, and what's cool is that these, obviously these do not come included with the Jack Jack Bird kit. But what you do get is a set of 
try <laughs> I forgot that Abby was playing with this this weekend. Um, you get a set of little cards that look like this for your kids to trace. Now look at, I'm so proud. The proud mom, mama moment, guys. This is Roman, my five-year-old, practicing tracing his letters. And he was actually using the purple crayon from the Uli kit. Um, so there are letters that they can trace, cursive letters, numbers, um, a clock face, and shapes. And each side comes with a blank side as well so that they can, you know, just draw freely if they want to. What's great about all of these is that they are completely wipeable with a wet rag or a wipey so they can clean right up and you can play again. Um, and if you're not interested in buying these separate chalk crayons from Uli, this little kit actually does come with its own set of chalk crayons. There's a little pouch right here that's meant for them so you can put them in there, just like this. These are called butter sticks and what I think is so cool about these is they're like butter. <laughs> they do not create any dust. They feel almost like clay in your hands even though they write just like chalk, but they don't create any dust and they wipe up perfectly easily with a wet rag or a wipey. And again, those come included with this Jack Jack Bird pouch. Now, the last thing that I had in here is a Bumpkins small bag from their little three pouch window set. And in here, I've got Jack Jack Bird markers. And what's really cool about these is if you're just not a chalk person, uh, if you don't like cleaning up after chalk or you're worried about your kids breaking them, you can also use these markers on any of these little mats. They're super bright and pigmented. And just like the chalk crayons, these wipe up with a wipey or a wet rag. And that's basically everything that I had inside of here today. This is the Limea brand trifecta in the color iced latte. And this is packed up for activities for your kiddos. Um, I know that not everyone might prefer to use a leather pouch for activities for your kids, but I personally love the way that this packs up. So I wanted to show you. Now, one thing to be clear about is that this that I'm about to show you, this little Jack Jack Bird chalk kit, um, is like slightly too tall for this. So you have to sort of fold it down just a little bit to get it to zip, but it's not bad. Uh, and to me, it's worth it to get this set up because it is so cute. So here's the large piece. Sitting right inside, I have one of the Jack Jack Bird chalkboard activity kits. This has got eight pages of chalkboard paper that your kids can color on. Um, and it comes with its own little set of chalk, which I have taken out of here just to remove it as one more step that my kids have to do in order to play with this. So I've left this empty, but I had that sitting right inside there. Then let me show you what's on the inside of here first. Um, I have a bumpkins snack bag packed with goldfish and some Nutri-Grain bars for my kiddos to snack on, which is great. I've noticed my kids tend to want to snack while they do their activities. Here's the inside here. In addition to that, I also have one of these little Tegu pouches. These are so cute for on the go. This comes with eight blocks all together like this. And uh, for a three-year-old and a five-year-old, I find that this is just the right amount of blocks to keep them busy for short outings. Um, obviously at some point they're gonna get bored with only eight, but for quick trips out, just to give them something to keep them busy in the middle of a tantrum or something, these are really awesome. And that was all that was in the center of this bag. I had to keep it kind of minimal because this was just a little bit too tall. Um, having to stretch this bag as high as it would go to cover the top of this, I wasn't able to bulk it up a lot because once you put a lot in there and it starts opening up this way, it's harder to zip it when something tall is in there. But I love this setup here. So in this mesh pocket over here on the side, I have the dust-free crayons that come with this little activity kit. And then over here, I have all of the Jack Jack Bird markers, which I showed you earlier can also be used on the activity mats. These are short enough that they can fit inside of that mesh pocket uh, and still zip up, which I think is really cool. And that just makes these super accessible for either of my little ones to get to. No mess trying to open up another pouch in order to get to their markers. They're just all right there and I love it. So we've got the large piece with the markers, the dust-free chalk crayons, some snacks, tegu blocks, and the chalkboard kit. 
Up next is certainly something that is more for the older kids if you're looking to keep the older kids busy while on the go. This is the Limea brand portfolio. This is the 12.9 inch. It is made for the iPad Pro in the size 12.9, but it'll hold any tablet that is of a similar sizing. We do also have this in the 11 inch size, which is made for the 11 inch iPad Pro, but it also fits things like the 10.2 inch regular iPad and anything that is similarly sized. So today I'm going to be showing you how I have this packed as an activity kit for the older, slightly older kids, maybe around my son Roman's age or a little bit older. This is a very well loved portfolio. I've had this, this was actually my very first sample that we got and I haven't cleaned it in a while. So she's looking a little bit uh, dingy and I've let my kids play with her. So there we are with that. Um, but I wanna show you how this can work as a really cool little activity kit for the bigger kids. Over here, I have my iPad. This is where my kids can just open this up and sit and watch shows if they want to or do ABC mouse or whatever else. It can stay in these little elastics and they can turn this either vertical or horizontal, however they wanna be watching it. Over here, I have the Apple Pencil. This would be for the slightly older children um, who know how to use these. My five-year-old really doesn't yet, but I wanted to show that we do have this pin loop here for that. But of course you can use um, just a regular pen or pencil as well. In this zipper pocket here, I have a charging cable for the iPad, as well as one of these cloths for cleaning the screen. In this slip pocket, I have a nice little charger for charging the iPad if the charge gets low. Now, um, over here, I have a couple of really cool things. First, I have two little highlighters from Uli. These come in a set of five. Even though they're mini highlighters, they have a standard sized tip. They're very, very pigmented, but just like what you would want in any highlighter, these don't bleed through onto the next page or the back of the page, which is really great. I find that my kids just sometimes like having a little highlighter to play with. So those are just tucked neatly in right there. Then in this pocket, which if you're using this for business or for work, this is for your phone. But what I did is take some of my favorite colors from the 36 piece set of fine tip markers from Uli. That set looks like this and I just mainly grabbed the colors from the front row. So those fit really nicely in there so that my kids have some markers to play with. And then all the way over here in this back slip pocket, I have one of the sketchbooks from Uli. These stand up on their own, which is really cool. Both of my kids have their own one of these. They have a pink one and a blue one, and it's just blank pages inside for them to color on. And I just find sometimes they like to watch a show and doodle at the same time. So this is all a bunch of great stuff for them to have while we're out on the go. Okay, this one is definitely for those of you with kids who just want to bring every kind of coloring utensil there is out there. So I wanted to show you how you can do this with the Limea brand trifecta large piece packed with a whole bunch of things on the inside. Please forgive the angle that has probably been bad through this entire video. I'm not operating in a great uh, situation right now <laughs> with my filming setup. So it is what it is. Um, but again, I just wanted to show you, first of all, all the cool things that you can get from Uli at the Sensible Mama, and also to just show you how nicely all of these things fit inside of the large piece of the three pouch trifecta set from Limea brand. So uh, firstly, I want to show you this. This is um, a small snack bag from Bumpkins. And in here, I have the oil pastel crayons. These are really, really cool because they twist up like this, which means you don't have to worry about getting a whole bunch of color inside of your bags. However, um, these don't roll all the way in. You can see they still kind of stick out just a little bit. So I prefer to not put these like inside of my nice Limea brand bags and put them instead inside of a bag like this. But what's cool about these is you can color with these just like a crayon, but they are oil pastels, which means you can blot them and do a lot of really cool um, oil pastel kind of stuff with them. So for the kids who love oil pastels, we've got some of those in there. Then in this Bumpkins window bag, I have got the markers from Jack Jack Bird. These can be used on regular paper or chalkboard style paper. So I find that this is a really versatile thing to carry along with you. And they fit so nicely inside of the small bag from the Bumpkins window bag set. And that fits so nicely inside of the Trifecta large piece. Next, I have got the medium piece from the Trifecta. And this has got all 36 fine point markers from the Uli 36 marker set. These all have a 0.7 millimeter tip. So these are great for grownups or for little kids. And I just love that they all fit inside of here so neatly 
inside of this pouch. Then lastly, inside of the two uh, mesh pockets over here, I have the Monster Mini Highlighters. These are all scented and they are super neon, super pigmented, just cute little highlighters for on the go. And over here, I have the Uli Puffy Pins. Now, these are really interesting. These, um, you shake them up and you squeeze the ink onto paper. So if you've ever used like a paint pen, it's a lot like that. But when you write with these and you squeeze down on this ink, it pushes out an ink that looks a little bit bubbly at first. You let it dry and then you take a hairdryer to it later um, and it actually puffs up. It creates like a puffy textured presence on the paper, which is really cool. So we've experimented with these out on the go with my kids. And the cool thing about it is that they do dry pretty fast. Like they don't dry all the way where they're ready for you to um, apply heat to them and make them get puffy, but they do get dry enough that you can close up your book or your paper and take it home with you and like try the heat on it later on if you wish. They're just super fun. My three-year-old and five-year-old love them. And it's one of those things that if we're really in a mess, like my kids are super grouchy and I'm trying to keep them happy, this will do it really fast. <laughs> Um, and all those things just fit in here really nicely so that uh, when your kids ask you for different utensils to color or play with, you have got a whole bunch of options for them all inside of this nice organized little pouch. Filming this last one from home today because I'm not feeling very good. So this is the Sensible Clutch. It comes with a long shoulder strap and a short one. And I like using this for my son's switch. And this setup ends up working out really, really well for us as something that either he can carry or I can carry. So over here in the elastics is where I like to put his switch. It sits there really nicely and it's pretty safe over there. I don't worry about it getting crushed or broken. Then over here on the other side, I have his headphones. Those I just found on Amazon. And then here I have his wall charger. In the front section that's made for your wallet, that's what this sensible clutch is actually made for, um, I just have a couple of SD cards for him to be able to grab for quickly. But if you have gift cards for the um, store for buying games and things like that, you can put those in there as well. All right, everyone, that is it for today's Five Ways Wednesday. I hope this video was helpful and gave you some cool ideas for how to pack up activities for your kids while on the go. Again, if you spotted anything in this video that you would like to purchase for your little ones, it is linked down in the description box. I always love your support at thesensiblemama.com. We appreciate it so much and you guys shopping through those links down below is what helps keep our business alive I just can't appreciate you enough. Love ya, mean it, always, and I'll see you in the next one.